Happy day, guys. Hope you're feeling great because I am. Before we turn into this heat, welcome to the show, Snapolitical, where you are challenged to think for yourself, do your own research, and not be swayed by what you see on television and even what you read in the papers. Get out here and research for yourself, guys. Subscribe to the channel, share the video, like it, and let's engage in the comment section. Okay. So I'm really excited about this video, guys, because one of the hot topics is what has Trump done for black people? Because when I say that I'm a Trump supporter, you already seen it. I talked about I, I'm taking you on, down a whole trail of how it started. Go back and look at the very first video episode of Snap Political. And that's why I changed my political party. OK, fast forward to where we are today. People are asking, why do you support Trump? I got so many reasons why, but I did my research. Because I, I really hate the fact that I didn't support him the last time. I supported Janky Joe. Why? Because everybody else was supporting Janky Joe. And it sounded good. I didn't go back and dig deeper. I didn't do my own research. But people keep asking, what has Trump done for black people? So I'm about to give you some reference points. I'm about to show you some facts. Because y'all know I'm big on facts. I'm big on statistics. I'm about to give you some information. And there's lots out there. This is just another resource that I've used. If you want more facts, you can also go to the whitehouse.gov. And I've said this, the archive.gov. Each president has their own um, article of what they contributed when they were in office. What their highlights were. So... That's another resource, but I'm using this resource. So this article right here, guys, is called Trump Campaign Press Release Fact. President Trump's policies have delivered for black Americans. I'm going to have this in the description so you also can find this and check and read for yourself as well as tap into the um, WhiteHouse.gov archives of President Trump. Go back and see what they have put in the archive and other resources. The ones that show you the things that he's done, not the ones that want to talk about what they say he didn't do. But I'm only going on the facts. Let's go. So this was October 2020. President Trump has expanded school choice, increased HBCU funding and enacted criminal justice reform. Since his inauguration, President Trump has championed policies that have revitalized the black community, creating a more inclusive economy for black Americans, providing historic funding for his, our historical black colleges and universities, expanding school choice and giving more black Americans a chance to achieve the American dream. So let's talk about the First Step Act into law. 90% of those who have had their sentences reduced are black Americans. First Step Act shortens mandatory minimum sentence for nonviolent drug crimes. The law allows offenders sentenced under racially motivated mandatory minimums to petition for reevaluation. President Trump launched a Ready to Work initiative, which helps released prisoners gain meaningful employment. President Trump has proposed the Second Step Act to partner with corporate America to create opportunities for former prisoners to rejoin society. Okay, so that's the First Step Act. Now, black Americans are seeing unprecedented levels of economic success with record low unemployment rates, more jobs, and higher incomes. And that is one thing that I've been hearing across the board, and I'm about to show you in these short little clips, that many blacks are saying that when he was in office we had we had funding they had money they had more money in their pocket they had more money in their pocket black americans are seeing un unprecedented levels of economic success with record low unemployment rates more jobs and higher incomes over 1.4 million black americans have found a job between president trump's election in february 2020 black poverty reached a historic low in 2019 president trump designated 8,760 opportunity zones that are projected to spur 100 billion in private investment in minority communities. The Trump administration established a fund to deploy 1 billion in capital funding for minority owned businesses through the Commerce Department. President Trump called on Congress to pass school choice legislation to expand educational opportunities for all American children, especially those in our nation's inner cities. President Trump's FY 2020 budget called for 500 million fiscal year guys FY's fiscal year 500 million in federal funding for school choice and in 2018 he signed legislation increasing school choice funding by 42 million the Trump administration proposed the economic the education freedom scholarship and opportunity act 
Another point, President Trump restored funding and increased investment for historically black colleges and universities by 14%. Trump administration provided more than $500 million in loans to HBCUs through the capital financing program. President Trump worked with HBCUs to protect $80 million in Title III carrying over funding. President Trump signed the Future Act into law, which permanently funds HBCUs and simplifies the FAFSA application. In 2018, Trump signed a budget deal which forgave more than $300 million in debt owed by four HBCUs impacted by natural disasters and provided $10 million in loan payment deferments for schools that face financial difficulties, including HBCUs. He also worked with Congress to lift the ban on Pell Grants on summer classes. All right, this is just one article, guys, that talks about the things he did specifically for black people. When you go to the nationalarchives.gov, um, the White House, and you pull up his name and they're going to show you all the things that he accomplished when he was in office, this is only specifically about blacks because we're talking about many people are asking, black people are saying, what has he done for us? This is just a, a small scope. But when you go to other resources that have a very vast and wide range of things across the board, from our border to um, economics to putting judges in place to other things that affect us as a whole country and other things that have affected black people as well are, is on that site. So this is just specifically, I must say once again, because, you know, y'all, uh, people assume and don't and don't and you aren't looking at it from the perspective or you hear what you want to hear. That's what I need to say. You hear what you want to hear versus what's said. And this is specifically talking about what he's done for black people. Just a few of the things. OK, so let's hear some other views from some other black people as to why they feel Trump is the, is the one for 2024 and has been. And I just want to go ahead and give a preliminary. There is a you're going to see the disclaimer. You probably have already seen it and you're going to see it again. The language, there is some profanity in this in these in this content here. And um, I, I just really want to find clips from black people that I didn't know and black people who have strong views as to why they feel Trump is the one they're going to be voting for. So let's tap in. Some of y'all out there. I expect you to say I'm wrong because you've been fucking programmed. You think they're going to lock this man up and he got a Secret Service detail? Do you really think that? Is the fucking Secret Service going to do the time with him? No. They trying to destroy this man in front of your fucking eyes because he's going against the fucking machine. And it's the same thing every time a black man stand up and say he don't want to put on a fucking dress. Every time a black man stand up and say the criminal justice system is flawed and is fucking racist, they try to destroy his character in front of your face. Mm -hmm. You're doing the same shit to him. This isn't about, oh, he gonna get a hood free money. We never wanted nothing for free. That's right. We want the shit fixed so we can make our own fucking opportunity. That's right. And this is the only motherfucking man that actually gave us a fucking promise that he would do something about it. So y'all keep talking all of this crazy shit, but he ain't going to jail. I promise you that much. And even if he did, he gonna get elected and we gonna put his ass in fucking office. Okay. So, excuse the French, but once again, this is someone who supports Trump and is telling you why. I like how he's saying, you know, come on now, let's be, let's think. He's giving you some some solid information, guys. Okay, let's tap in. Let's tap into some others. As black people, you know, we with Trump. Yeah, I'm with Trump. I don't know where everybody got against him. Yo, he was making the breadwinners, you heard? I'm a Democrat too, but okay, we Trump. We need Trump back in office right now. I'm gonna be honest with you. I f with Trump. To be honest with you, bro, for real, Trump really did this shit. And I like him because he's about money. It wasn't about no politics. He wanted to make America great again. Through Trump. That boy Trump be making sure to get they bread. I ain't gonna lie. I'm thinking Trump for life. Trump for life. I ain't gonna lie. Blood Donald Trump. Trump wanted us to get off our ass and get some money. Trump 2024. This is the truth. You made everybody hold a piece of money, you feel me? Because Trump really a boss. So Trump running it how it's supposed to be ran. And people just can't take it. And he putting out facts in front of the people. He ain't That's lying right. to the people. People just don't want to accept the truth. Trump, man, we rocking with you. Love you, Trump. My dog. T, what's up? 
Trump had that country on a better path as far as economically. He put America first, so it makes sense. I like someone who likes to place people first. Shout out to 2024, my brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, ye
I'm not of this world. Like, that's what I'm starting to realize. Like, I'm, I like, I'm one of them people that was sent here for like the greater good. Like, I'm not of this world. I'm nothing like y'all, bro. I'm nothing like you. You know what blows my mind when now it's about the time when people say they don't like Trump or they don't support Trump. And I'd be like, why you don't like Trump? Like, tell me honestly why you don't like Trump. The first thing that they fuck him up is he's a racist. And that's what gets me. That's what really gets me. When you ask people to tell you, why don't you like Trump? That's the first thing they say. But where did you get that from? What news media source? Go to CBO and Snapple. We have a video that we did over there that we talked about how many times he debunked that. It was, I mean, it was crazy. I, I mean, it was crazy. And then you have these um, dingbat reporters, and that's exactly what I'm going to say, who don't really report the news, who don't do their homework themselves. They get one little bit of information, and when, I mean, and they want to run and go ham with it. Come on. He debunked so many times, and who knows him that has been in an area, in a place where he has said something negative about a specific race? Where is this information? Show me, where are you there? Who do you know knows this? People are going off what the media says, and this is what really burns me up. Let's go, Latoya. Come on, girl. Bitch, we all a little racist. All everybody in the world is a little racist. All of us go places and say shit about the other race. Everybody is a little fucking racist. It's in our DNA, each and every last one of us. It's in us to stand with your people. To, let me tell you something I hear my fiance say all the time. If you walk into a room full of white people and there's one black person, by nature, you're going to go over there and introduce yourself to that black person first because you're going to be like, oh, that's me. If a white person walk in a room full of black people, they're going to naturally zero in on the other white person we all are a little fucking racist by nature come with something else come with something oh, else i feel you i so feel yeah y'all over here fucking starving and poor and biting is fucking giving all the fucking money y'all going to work and earning to another fucking country make it make selling sense. us out that's like me watching my own kids starving getting paid in his pocket him and his family his family ain't hurting him. his house but i'm making sure uh uh Becky down the street, make sure her kids eat and, and making sure the kids around the corner eat and going out to the school, giving out free food and then coming home and my fucking kids are starving. Make it make sense. Y'all elected Ooh, that motherfucker. They can't, girl. So stand beside them. Stand hmm. beside them. The fuck? Hmm. Don't acting like, well, I'm just going to fall in line and act like I'm a Trump hater too. I don't give a fuck. No. I don't give a Sorry. Fuck. Best thing I ever did was went on a spiritual journey, bro, because I didn't tap so deep into myself. I don't give a fuck what somebody else think about me. I don't give a fuck. Unfollow me. Tell you, that bitch is crazy. I don't want nothing to do with her good. I don't want to be around motherfuckers like y'all anyway. I don't, I don't want to be around a weak-minded motherfucker that's just going along with whatever is, is, is popular. Get exactly. away from me. I feel you. I'm about to go buy a uh, Make America Great Again hat and wear that bitch around. Let's go. I want to smoke it. I want to smoke it. What? You <laughs> what? Let's fuck. go. Because now that motherfuckers call themselves a resting Trump, I don't give a fuck who know what no more. You hear me? So anybody that want the motherfucker smoke can get it. Anybody in my comments talking shit can get You going to be so mad you said something to me about Trump. Because that's how motherfucking mad I am but that they trying to arrest him. Okay? I'm going to been and took my frustration out on you. So your best bet is just don't even say nothing. <laughs> don't even say nothing to me, bro. Y'all. Who? That's all I can say. Oh, man, that's all I can say. And once again, you know, sorry for the language, but I just, she had a mouthful. I'm sorry. She really did. She said a lot, a lot, a lot. And many things I can must say I, I agree with. I really do. I mean, if you are going to continue to allow yourself to do what everybody else is doing, then shame on you and you deserve whatever comes to you in regards to putting the wrong person in office. That's how I feel about that. If you can't finally stand up and see what's real and see what's going on and do your research and unplug from the matrix, you need to take the red pill, boo-boo. Sorry, because the blue pill got y'all messed up. Y'all selling us out for a steak. <laughs> and what they did on the matrix, the man wanted a steak, bro. Biden selling us out for some bread for his family. And y'all gonna keep going along with that, co-signing for that, agreeing to that, and not even realize or make up what's, and see what's really happening? Please, let's go. I can't wait to be on this video with my Trump. I don't know about a Trump hat. Y'all know how I like to keep my hair slayed. But um, I will have me, I want me a dope hoodie. I want a nice shirt. I'm gonna have to, you know, cut up and do all that because I'm not the t-shirt um, type of chick. But I'm gonna definitely have some, some Trump gear. Trust me, and I can't wait to wear it on this video. Let's go. Subscribe to the channel. This is what Trump has done for black people. Now you, now you see it.
and there's so much so much other content out there that supports this too so there you go let's go tap in see you on the next video love you guys appreciate your support and let's go do your homework yeah